The Bible prescribes ways that we can have abundant health. As a matter of fact, health was so important to God that major portions of the Old Testament were written to explain to us how to have incredible health. We have become so spiritually minded that we have lost our reality that apart from being healthy, we really can't fulfill the will of God for our lives. Like I tell people all the time, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you can do, it doesn't matter what your call is, it doesn't matter what you know about your destiny. If you don't have the energy and the strength to be able to go out and do it, you're going to lay on the couch and be depressed, be frustrated, be condemned, and you'll never, ever, ever live your dreams. You see, even when we attempt to lose the weight, get in shape, eat uh, more healthy foods, usually we only do that for a few days or a few weeks and we, re we reach some level of success and then we sabotage. And we repeat this cycle over and over again until we're completely discouraged. Well, I wanna tell you something. If you deal with the beliefs of your heart, then you start realizing that you can have abundant health no matter how old you are, no matter what you've been through, no matter what you've faced in the past. You realize that God is going to connect with you where you are and He's going to lead you through the process of having the kind of health that you believe in your heart. And now that you know how to use the ultimate put off, put on experience, not only will you have this incredible tool for transforming your health, but you'll also be able to immediately identify uh, why you're sabotaging your diet, or you'll immediately be able to identify why you stopped working out. You can face these problems, you can deal with your beliefs, and you can find that you can get healthier and healthier and more energetic, and like all things that pertain to the heart, it becomes painless, it's a positive experience, and it is effortless.